D it will now be equal to what? 65 what? Degree. So this angle here is 65 degree. So don't forget this angle here is 65 degree. Now after getting that now, we also have to find a way of getting this what? Side so that we can use the triangle sum of triangle in the uh, so that sum of angles in the triangle. Now, how do you get this whole angle here? The first thing to understand that is that this is an isosceles triangle. This side is an isosceles triangle. We have radius, radius here. This is an isosceles triangle. Call it an triangle because this is radius and this is radius. What you are going to do is that what you represent this angle here, you represent this angle here with what? With a letter, you can represent it with what? X, X. So that when we get this now, you'll be able to get your angle here. Now, and how do you get that now? You say what? X plus X plus 10, 130 is equal to 180 degree. Now, what does that mean? Sum of angle, sum of angles in a triangle, sum of angles in a triangle, what? AOD, a triangle AOD, triangle AOD, meaning that what? We now have two x is equal to when you take that one thirty to the other side, we have one eighty degree minus one thirty degree. So, so we have what two x is equal to two x is equal to one thirty degree divided by what two. So, what's your x? X is equal to what? Sorry, look at this one eighty minus one thirty here will give you what? One eighty minus one thirty here will give you fifty what? Degree. So 2 divided by 2 will give you what? 2 divided by 2 will cancel 2. Then 2 divided by 50 will give you what? 25 degree. You know that this place is 25 degree. S is 25 degree. You know that S plus S plus 180 is equal to 180. So 2S is equal to chapter 180. So it will go 2S equal to 180 minus 130, which is what? 2S equal to 50. Divide both sides by 2. So this will cancel 2. This 50 over 2 will give you what? 20 what? 25. So X here is what? X here is 25. X is 25 here. This also is 25. So I haven't got that now. 25, you can bring this triangle out. You can bring triangle ABC out. This triangle ABC. What do I put out the triangle ABC is what? Look at this. Here. Here is what? Here is 20 what? 6 degree. I need to take the marker. Here is what? 26 degree and here is 25. So 26 plus 25, what do you have? 26 plus 25, 26 plus 25. So I see we have what? This is 20 what? This is 20, this is 26, this is 25. So 26 plus 25 will give what? We give you 51 degree. So the angle here is 51. Um, look at the angle here is what? Angle at this side, which is what? We have angle, don't forget this is what angle A, D, and then what B. On the angle, on this side of D, we have X and then we have we don't know what we are looking for. We have X and then we are looking for what? We are looking for angle O D B. So we are looking for angle O D B. And look at this X now. I've calculated it to be what 25, so I'll change it to 25 of X. Then I will represent ODB with Y. You can represent ODB with what? Y. So mean that 25 plus Y. So angle ODB is Y. This is the angle ODB is what? Is Y. I represent it with Y now. So now, now this angle here is already what? 65 degree as you can see in this word, in this, in this diagram now. So this is a triangle. Add everything together. Then you will be able to get what your Y, which is ODP. Please note that ODP is Y based on what we just did here. So now, what I'm going to do now is now 65 degree plus 51 degree plus 1 degree plus now 25 degree now plus what equal to what 180 what degree sum of angle in a triangle sum of angles. Always write your reasons. Some of triangles in the what? Triangle. Triangle what? A, B, D. And always name every angle and your triangles. So, 
So sum of angles in triangle A, B, D, A, B, D, as you can see. So now we have 65 plus what? 65. 65 plus 65 plus 51 plus 25. What do you have? We have 141. So this one is 141 degree plus y equal to 180 degree. So y is equal to 180 degree minus 141 degree. So 180 minus 141. So we have y equal to 39 degree. So don't forget I put that this y is the same thing as what? O D B. So therefore um O D B is equal to what? Um O D B is equal to 39 degree. So that is that about what? Question number one. Number one is O D B. Now number two is B O D. I think we might have calculated along the way. B O D. B O D now. B O D. Is there any connection between B O D? Yes, so I'm going to join this together. I'm going to join this together. That's what they're trying to see now. B O D. It's kind of falling. So we are going to join that one together to get to an angle B B O D. And don't forget that what we've got in this one to be what? This angle what? Angle O D B now is what? 39 degree. So this is 39 degree. And because it's isosceles triangle as well, we have 39 what? degree. So 39 degree plus 39 degree minus what? Then you take it from 180 degree to give what? Angle what? This angle O D B that we are looking for. So now let me quickly do it here because of my time. So now I don't want to this forward, but please follow the what? The trend, the trend. I'm clearing this one now. Clearing this one. So I'm going to do what? And what? And ODB here. We have to calculate what? And BOD. And BOD. As I've already explained, there is no line here. Initially, there is no line here. I have to join this line here so that I can have my and BOD. Now, if you look at this now, this is a line from the center of the circle. So that's forming radius, and this is a line from the of forming radius. So and we've calculated that what? We've calculated our own degree to 39. So if this are and you this around by the radius, so this will be 39, this will also be 39. So we that 39 plus 39 plus this angle will be equal to 180. And this angle we are looking for, which is angle B O D. So what I'm trying to try to say now is that so angle B O D plus what? 39 degree plus 39 degree. They also give us what 180 degree sum of angle sum of angles in a what in a triangle what in a triangle B O D triangle B O D so please note that triangle B O D so this triangle B O D so now 39 plus 39 so we have B O D plus 39 plus 39 so 39 plus 39 we give you 78. 78 is equal to 180 degree. So we transfer 78 to the other side. We have angle what? Angle B O D equal to 180 degree minus 78 degree. So we have 180 minus what? 180 minus 78. We have what? 102 degree. So that's that. The first one is what? 39 degree. The second one is 102 degree. Please take note of that. Rewind if you need to rewind. You have to get how I did this equation. So that is that about that. So we are done with this question now. Now the next question is that the diagram Ln is a chord. Ln is a chord. Ln is a chord. Ln is a chord. The chord is a line that joins two circumference together. With what is a chord of a circle with center O. Ln is 22.4. 2 cm. So that is the length of the MN, the chord is 22.4 22 cm. The perimeter of the what? Of the triangle MON is 55.6 cm. Calculate the nearest, the nearest degree MON. MON. Let's calculate this angle to the nearest what degree. Now, 
But what are the parameters we need to do us? We have to calculate this angle to the nearest degree. Please know that we have to calculate the angle to the nearest degree. Calculate angle L O N to the nearest degree. Now we are given the perimeter of triangle. What? Triangle L O N. The perimeter is what? 555.6 centimeter. Um, note that what? A color, what? A sample is described in the circle. A, note that what? A triangle that is described in the circle, triangle that is described in the circle is a what? A triangle described in the circle is an isosceles triangle. We have already used isosceles triangle in this upper what? example here. But also here, also, also here, this also is an isosceles triangle. Why? Because this is an essential triangle because this is radius, this is radius. So this angle here will be equal to this angle. This side is equal to this side. And this what? This radius is equal to this radius. So we need that R plus R plus 22.42 centimeter to give us our perimeter. Because perimeter here, the perimeter of triangle LON is what? R plus R plus the length of the code LN. Radius plus radius plus the length of the code LN. So now, if that is the case, so if it is at 55.6 is equal to what? R plus R is 2R plus what? 22 what? 22.42. So meaning that what? 2R, you take this one to the other side. 2R is equal to what? 55.6 minus what? 22.42. So we have what? 2R is equal to what? 55.6 minus 55.6 minus 22.42. So we have what? That's 30.18 here. That's 30.18. So divide both sides by right? 2 to get your what? R. Ah, what is R now? Divide by what? Divide by what? 2 to get your R. This is 16.5 watts, 9, 16.59 centimeter. So that's that about that. So now, I haven't gotten this one to be what? 15 point, 16.59 centimeter, 15, 16.59 centimeter. You can easily get the angle now. And I will get the angle. I will get the angle. You can easily use what? The length of your core to get it, or you can see this word Pythagoras or theorem. Now, I'm going to Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is very, very simple. So, if I say this word, there's a theorem about circle geometry that says when a line is drawn from the words center of the circle, it will bisect the core into the two equal parts. When a line is drawn from the center of the circle, it bisects the two, it the core into two equal parts. That's the theorem of circle geometry. When a line is drawn from the center of the circle, it bisects the chord into two equal parts. Meaning that's what? This is going to be what? 11.21. When divided by 2, this was also 11.21. So that's just a rule under our circle geometry. So now, having done that, now we can easily calculate this angle here. If you calculate one of the angles here, you can multiply by 2 to get the what? The angle of the triangle. If you get this angle now, you can multiply it by 2 to get the, the angle of the triangle. That is angle L O what? N. So now, make this one theta. Then use Pythagoras theorem. So we are going to make this one theta now. This one is theta already. So this one is what? 16.59. This one is 11.21. So, so now look at this. This is opposite here. This is hypotenuse. Please, you have to be very careful and you have to zoom up, zoom so that you can see it. So we have what? This is opposite over hypotenuse. We have what? Sine theta equal to opposite over what? Hypotenuse. Because it's the longest side, this is the what? Side facing the what? Angle. So we have what? Sine theta now equal to 11 point what? This is our opposite here. This is hypotenuse. 11.21 over 16.59. So Sin theta now will now be equal to 11.21 divided by 16.59. We have 
seven, five, seven. So when you take side inverse of that, what do you get? When you take side inverse of that, let me just use it like the side inverse of that. So you get side inverse, side inverse, theta will be what? Side inverse of 0 0.6757. So, sine inverse of what? Sine inverse. Sine inverse of 0 0.6757. So, we have what? 40 what? This is what? This is what? This is what? 42.508. Now, we are calculating the what? The angle M O K. So, angle M. O M, which is the angle of the triangle, is 2 times theta. So, which is what? 2 times 42.508. So, 42.508 times 2. We have 85.016 degrees. So, according to the nearest degree now, it's going to be what? 85 or degree. So, that's that about question number. That's that about question number. Two for us now. Let's go to question number three here. Please and please be mindful of this word question because I'm trying to what, maximize the what the time and also the space so as we to cover much of the ground. Now here we have a cyclic word quadrilateral. We call this one cyclic quadrilateral. Cyclic quadrilateral. And there is a theorem that we are going to use about cyclic quadrilateral. Why? Because this, this vertice is touching the what? This vertice is touching the circumference. This is a quadrilateral and the vertice is touching the circumference. That is why we call it cyclic quadrilateral. If the vertice is not touching the circumference, it's not a cyclic quadrilateral. So we just have another quadrilateral. Now, what we are going to do now is this. The first thing is we are going to what? Find what? The angle here. You need the angle, you need to find the angle here. The angle here is the angle here is half of this. Now look at this. Angle at the center is twice angle at the what? Circum what? Circumference. So we need that 196 times what? Angle R here. I'm just going to, going to use R. So what we have to calculate to find M. That's what we have to find. Find M. But to find M, we need to actually calculate what? To find M, we need to actually get what some things right here. You can easily what cross this part like this. This is what a triangle. This is what a triangle with radius. This center what? So you can see we are told that this is center O. We have center O here. So now how do we go about this? We need to get the O angle here. Please know that this is a collateral. You need to get the O angle here. If you get your angle here, then you can get your M. You can get your M. So that's why you have to work very careful now. The first thing is to work. You know that this is an accessory triangle now. Because this is radius, this is radius. So we can easily say, get this one to really set to this case. This one, let's call this one X and X. So 1 and 6 plus this angle here, call this angle here Y. So that you can get it. So, 196 plus what? Y will give you an angle at the point. So 196, 196 degree plus Y equals 360 degree angle at the point. Angle at a point. So we have what? Y equals 360 degree. 360 degree minus what? Minus 196 degree. So what do we have? 360 degree minus what? 360 degree. Minus 196. So we have 164 degrees. This is 164 degrees. So the angle there is what? 164 degrees. So this is 164 degrees. 164 degrees. So 164 degrees plus what? X plus X equals 180 degrees. So what is your X? 2X is equal to what? We have 2X is equal to 180 minus 164 degrees. So 2x is equal to so 180 now minus what 180 minus 164 to give you 16 degrees. So this 16 degree. 
So x here is what? 8 degrees. So this is 8 degrees here. Note that this is 8 degrees. This is also what? 8 degrees. Now, I will set it down right now. You can also say what? The angle here is twice the angle here. Call this one z. So, you need that what? 196 degree is equal to 2 times what? Z. Why? Angle at center. Angle at center. Angle at center is twice. Is twice angle at what? Circumference. I have this as circumference. So you have 196 degree equal to 2 Z. Divide by 2. So 196 divided by what? 196. 196 divided by 2, 196 divided by 2, we have 98 degrees. So Z here is what? 98 degrees. So this one is what? 98 what? Degree. So if this is 98 degrees, so what is this one? What is this one? This one is 98 degrees. You can easily say half of 164 is also this, or you can use what? Half of 164 is what? Look at this. Two ways of getting there. Are two ways to get this one. You can say this is half of 64. Or you can say 98 plus what? Plus, plus this angle here, which is angle N. Or you can call it, this, this is angle N here. Yeah? You can call it what? Angle N. This angle N. Why is angle what? N. Angle N is opposite angle with this. So if it is opposite angle with this, we that what? N plus what? Plus 98 degree, which is Z, equal to 180 degree. We have N equal to 180 degree minus 98 degree. So what we have? 180 degree minus 98 degree. We have what? 82 degree. So this is going to be 82 what? 82 degree. Now, we can also use what? Half of what? Half of Y, which is 164. To get this, because angle is said that is twice angle is circumference. You can say two times what? Two times is two is still one is four. So you can use this, or you can use what? The term of the center of the circle, or you can use what? What I just use here is what? Opposite interior angle. Opposite interior angle of a cyclic quadrature are supplementary, are supplementary. Uh, supplementary. So that is that opposite interior angle. Opposite interior angles of what? Cyclic collateral supplementary. They are hard up to 180. So that's why it is cyclic collateral 88 degree, 90 degree plus, plus 82 plus 180 degrees. So if I happen to know this one, I will just manage from 180 to get it to degree. So that is that about angle. Now, don't forget we are still looking for L. So how do we get here? Also, this is a what? This is also a what? Since this space and this space are equal, this is a what? A collateral. A co this is another collateral. But this, no, this collateral is not cyclic. It's not cyclic. So now, and it has the same sides. This one, this side also is equal to this side. So you use as a triangle, we call this one what? A, A as well. So A plus A plus what? One. What, what 98 degree equals 180 degree. Sum of angle in the analysis is triangle, sum of angle in a triangle as well. So you have to A equals 180 degree minus what 98 degree. So we have to A equal to what 82 degree. So divide by 2. Divide by 2. A is equal to, divide by this, this one, 8 equal to 41 what? So this is 41. Degree, this is also what? This is also what? 41 degree. So, so let's only calculate all this one. Now, we can add this angle together. Now, we add this at 41 plus 52 plus 8. Or so you cannot bring this collateral out here. You can bring this out here. The whole collateral here. Please follow. We have N, N, R, so this one is what? 82 degree. This one is what? When you add this one together, 52, this 50, 52 plus 8, that is 60. 60 plus 41, that is what? That is 1, what? 
101 degrees. So this is what 98 degrees. So you don't even bother yourself. This angle here, this angle here, they are slightly connected, they are going to be supplementary. The other angle here, that is this L here, this X here, this X here. You know we have X now. The X is also coming from what we have the word the L. The X. So now and the A. The A is 40 what? 41 now. The X is what? 8 degrees. Now, this angle here and this angle here must be supplementary. So meaning that the whole angle P here plus the whole M here must be supplementary. So I'm going to do it here. Please, I told you, be mindful of what, what I'm doing because there is no much of space here. I'm just trying to create one. So this side, from that right now, this M here plus P is equal to 180 degree. Sum of angle. Opposite sum of opposite angle in cyclic quadrature, sum of opposite interior angles in a cyclic quadrature in a cyclic quadrature. So now, what's your M? M is 101 degree based on what 52 plus 8, which is 60, 60 plus 41, 101 degree plus. Now, what's your P? P is M plus 8 degree plus 41 degree equal to what? Everything must be equal to 180. Everything must be equal to what? 180. 180 degree. So now, add this one together. This one is what? This one is 101 plus 8 plus 41. So what do you have? 150. So, we have 150 degree plus L equal to 180 degree. So we take we take 150 to the right side. We have L equal to 180 degree minus 150 degree. L is equal to 30 what degree. So that is that all the what we have been looking for is L, which is what 30 what, which is 30 degree. So we are done with what, that question. Now let's move to this last question here, which is what. Which is another question under what? Circuit geometry. Now, the last question has, now let's look at the last question as circuit geometry here. We have what? Look at this. We have tangent. This is a tangent here. Yeah? This is a tangent. So that's why they call this for diagram. This is a tangent. Tangent is a line that touch a point on the circumference of the world circle. That touch the point of circumference outside the circle. Now, so we have what? This is what is tangent now. Is a line that touches the point, the circumference, the point of the circumference, the point of the circumference of the circle. The line that touches the world, the point of the circumference of the circle is what we call tangents. So we call this one R. This is R. This is kind of R. This is R is R or T. This is R T. So that's how to declare it. This R is and R T is a value because it touches the point on the circumference of the circle. Now. We are told that what angle TUS, TUS is what 68 degree. What I have to calculate and what UTO is Y. Find the value of what S. We are to calculate the word angle UTO, which is Y, angle U, UTO, which is Y, and find the value of S. So we are looking for this value of S. The first thing we need to know is that this here, this is the line here, this is the line. Is a line is very important. This is a line is very, very important. So you join this one to this one. This is a triangle. We have an exercise triangle here. And we also have what? Look at this. This one is angle as a conference. This angle at towards center. We need that for angle T O S. Angle T O S is two times what? Angle what? T U S. T U S angle at center angle at center is twice what is twice angle at what at circumference so now 
If that is the case, I will put T O S now is equal to what? Two times what? Two times sixty-eight degree, which is what? So two times sixty-eight degree, two times what? Sixty-eight degree, two times sixty-eight degree. What do we have? We have what? One thirty-six. So this is one thirty-six degree. Then maybe this one is also what? The angle here, angle T O K, we now have one thirty-six. Degree. So now, how do you in this now? How do you proceed? How do you proceed? Know that what? Know that this angle here is 90 what degree, and your angle here also, angle here from here, so let me use another marker, angle, the, angle from here now to here, so 90 degree. Because we are told that what? In the world. One of the theorems of circle geometry is that what the outline drawn from the center of circle, which is the radius, is perpendicular to the tangent. So that is why this is 90 degrees. So if this is 90 degrees, it's also going to be 90 degrees. So just calculate this here now, calculate this angle here, and uh, calculate this angle here so as to know the angle outside here. So I'm going to know the angle outside here. So now that's what we are going to do now. So now the angle here now will not be what? The angle here will be what? Just name this one x, then name this one u. Okay, okay, let's you give me this, let's give it b and b. So b plus b plus 136, sum of angles in a triangle, sum of angles in a triangle. So we have what? 2b. So this is 1 equals 180. b plus b plus 136 equals 180. So of angle in the angle. So 2b is equals 180 degree. 180 degree minus what? 136 degree. So 2b now is now equal to what? Now, if that be the case, so this one will be 60 what? 68 degree. So divide this side by 2. B will be equal to 34 degree. So this is 34 degree. B is 34 degree now. B is 34 degree. So if B is 34 degree, the angle outside here is what? Angle outside here will be 90 minus what? 90 degree minus 34 degree will give us the angle here. So which is what? 90 minus 34. That is this angle here is 56. The angle here is what? You see the whole angle here is 56 degrees. So that one is set to already. Now, so I haven't got that now. The angle here now, so now we've got this one, we've got this one. So we can easily get what? Okay, now I haven't got that one, I missed 34. Now we get 56. Now the angle here, which is y, can we get that? So what can we do about this y now? So now we got to be this is b 34 now. So don't forget the same thing applies here. It's also a tangent. This is tangent and if that is a tangent as well, so I will go about that, and the tangent seems to be what? To be equal to one another. So, I guess now this one is what? Look at this, this one is y. This one is also going to be what? 50 what? 56. So, 56 degree. So, if that be the case now, This also is what this this angle here is is not 90 degree. This one is not 90 degree. It is this one here that is 90 degree. So if this is 34, this one is going to be 36. That's just logic. This line and this line is what they are equal. So this one is also what this this is 90 degree. And if this is 34, this also is what 56 degree. So 56 degree plus 56 degree plus s will give what 180. So therefore 56 degree. Plus 56 degree 
plus s equal to 180 degree. So when you add them together, this one is going to be 128. S take it to plus 56. 112. 112 degree plus s equal to 180 degree. So s equal to 180 degree minus 112. So we have answer here is what? 60 watts. S is equal to what? 68 degree final answer. So S is what? 68 degree. So we have come to the end of this video. Let's see that. If this video has helped you, remember to share this video with your friends, families, editors, and colleagues. And don't forget to like the video. See you next time on Bidas Academy Tutorial. God bless you. Amen.